Just one month ago, places like Finn Park here in Red Lodge were completely underwater. Although the water is gone now, a lot of work remains ahead. It was a devastating scene on June 13th in Red Lodge. Water escaping Rock Creek's banks and pouring into homes, damaging streets and taking out multiple bridges. Take a look at this side by side of this home. Here you can see just how high the water was and the damage that remains one month later. And here you can see the water rushing past Ken Ebel's house, sandbags lining the front yard attempting to divert the water. The sandbags went in front of the house and my car was still, my van was still here and it, you could tell the water rising around it. The streets of Red Lodge are no longer rivers, but work being done remains in progress. The 9th Street Bridge was one that was wiped out during the massive flooding, now being worked on tirelessly by construction crews that have been there from the moment the water receded. All of 212 is open. You can see some damage and there's some gravel kind of still across the road, but they've got all that open. All the side streets that they were able to open that weren't destroyed have been uh, opened. A lot of work's been done. As the work in Red Lodge to rebuild continues, so does the work in other towns affected by the flooding. The Clark's Fork of the Yellowstone River flooded many homes along the valley and took over half of the town of Fromberg. The town of Fromberg is an extremely poor town. We don't have the funding to, to do a lot. Many homes in Fromberg still have groundwater filling up their basements and yards are still piled with damaged belongings. Shala Column has been helping daily at the Relief Center in Fromberg, now located at the Methodist Church, to help the community. We have a lady that comes in almost every day who her voice is starting to be impacted by the mold that's in her home. The scene at Riverside Park in Laurel is another drastic difference one month later. Last month the Yellowstone River was rushing at high speeds and the campground was evacuated. Now the river has lowered and recreation continues again. As emotional as the last month has been for the towns affected by the flooding, one common theme remains throughout the towns. It was really, really inspiring to see the people come together. Well, this town has pulled together. Neighbors helping neighbors and communities staying strong throughout such an unimaginable occurrence. I'm Haley Monaco for MTN News.